This is a picture showing the spine and um, you can see that the spine has been cut longitudinally over here. This would be the cervical spine and this would be the thoracic uh, vertebral bodies with the attached ribs coming out from them. Posteriorly, we can see the spinal canal in which the spinal cord is located and these are the posterior processes of the vertebrae. Now, there is a very obvious abnormality here which is associated with a marked deformity of the spine. Let's take a closer look. We can see that uh, this here is the area of abnormality and it is clearly involving the vertebral body in this region. Um, the adjacent vertebral, vertebral bodies are still intact, as you can see here. That's the vertebral body. This is the intervertebral disc. This is the abnormal vertebral body. This is the adjacent intervertebral, uh, intervertebral disc. And we can see that the vertebral body has been almost completely destroyed. And in fact, um, it appears to be some sort of a cavitating process. So what has happened here is actually an infectious process. And this infection is in fact tuberculosis. And more specifically, it is known as pot disease, which is TB of the spine. And so let's pull back a little bit and think about how this patient may present. Well, because you can see that there is an obvious deformity of the spine, uh, the patient would then present uh, similarly. So clinically, there would be a kyphosis, meaning that the patient would be very hunched. And also, of course, the patient would be shortened because of that. And here is a picture showing how the patient may actually look so you can see the marked deformity. Uh, this probably would be in the proximal uh, thoracic spine. So in addition to kyphosis, the patient may also experience pain. And not only that, you can see that actually the spinal cord may be damaged by this process, whether it is compressed or it may potentially even be directly damaged by infection. So there may be significant neurological deficit and this of course depends on how high or low the level of damage is and uh, there may be paresis or even potentially paraplegia. On top of that, the patient may also experience systemic symptoms of infection such as fever and also loss of weight. And how do we actually diagnose this? Well, this would actually then require a biopsy of the spine tissue and the biopsy would be sent both for pathology examination, looking at the histology, and it would also be sent for microbiology, trying to do some cultures, looking specifically for TB, so culture and sensitivity for TB, and also microscopy to look specifically for acid fast bacilli. Now, do you remember what the histopathology would show? What we would see would actually be granulomas, and if you remember, a granuloma is an aggregate of epithelioid histiocytes. So we can see a granuloma here. Sometimes centrally there will be an amorphous eosinophilic area of necrosis, so in other words, necrotizing granulomas. And another thing that we may see is actually Langhans giant cells, uh, some of, sometimes within the actual granulomas. And here, this is a Langhans giant cell here. And we can also even do a special stain on histology for acid fast bacilli, and that is known as the Zeal Nielsen stain to look for acid fast bacilli. And you can see here that these are the acid fast bacilli that are positive, they will usually appear as reddish rots on a blue background. So essentially, uh, I've taken you from the gross pathology specimen showing the cervical and the thoracic spine. We see this obvious destruction of the vertebral body here. This is due to tuberculosis of the spine, known as pot disease. Patients will have very severe kyphoscoliosis, also pain, uh, may have neurological deficit, may have systemic symptoms as well, and we diagnose this by a tissue biopsy of the vertebral body, sending from pathology to look for necrotizing granulomas, as well as acid fast bacilli, and also of course from microbiology to specifically culture uh, the organism and also to do microscopy for acid fast bacilli.